One of the main features of an eating disorder is related to how one perceives their body or their body image. And generally we know with an eating disorder, people have a fear of fatness, they're wanting to change their body, they're wanting to prevent weight gain, and they engage in a whole lot of behaviours that are really characteristic of an eating disorder. One of the main behaviours is restrictive eating. Some people will then engage in purging behaviours, so that might be uh, self-induced vomiting, it might be laxative use, it might be excessive exercise and then some people will also engage in something called binge eating which is loss of control of eating. There's actually different diagnostic categories for eating disorders. So one of the ones we would be most familiar with is anorexia nervosa. There's also bulimia nervosa, but actually there's other eating disorders. So the most common eating disorder in our society is binge eating disorder. And there's also another disorder that's shortened to OSFED and that's called other specified feeding and eating disorder. And a lot of people would fit into that category and they're often the people that we miss because their behaviors might not be as noticeable as someone with anorexia nervosa or bulimia nervosa. So our stereotypes are wrong. We know that people of any shape or size can have an eating disorder. An eating disorder is actually a mindset. It's not actually what your weight is. People who are in bodies that are normal weight or a higher weight can actually have very clinically significant eating disorders. Historically, we would think of it being in young people or in teenagers and not in older people. But our data shows that it, that is completely false. People of any age can have an eating disorder. Men get eating disorders. Very few men will present for treatment because again, it's seen as a female illness at times. We also know that eating disorders in men present differently. It might be focused on muscularity, bulky up, being bigger, going to the gym. There's actually many things that will cause an eating disorder. One of these might be genetics. In some families, there might be people who have, in aunties or grandparents, had anorexia nervosa. We know some of the other things that cause eating disorders are perhaps growing up in a household where there was a lot of emphasis on weight and shape and eating healthy and dieting and following dietary rules that creates a vulnerability. At St Vincent's we have an outpatient eating disorder clinic that sits in the mental health services. So we have a social worker, we have a dietitian and they are senior clinicians who are trained in eating disorders and trained in evidence-based treatments.